Hello. Okay. Here's the last layer in the kiln. Um, I think everything it, it's pretty good for uh, this is just its first fire, so that's not bad for a first fire. There's some really nice stuff happening in the glazes in the background. And you begin to see the layering of texture and imagery. Here you can see a little more back behind there. And then you move here and under that, that imagery is under this lace work, is under the face. So some of the, I will leave on the face to, to give that transparentness, but obviously she's gonna need more work on the face because I don't want her to look like a tattooed lady. I just want it to come through in a few places like in the dark and whatnot. So, but I'm really pleased with that. And this is the Aventurine glaze. It's really very shiny. It did not get the sparkles. Maybe when I get it out in the sun, we'll have the sparkles, but it's 109 here today, and I opened the kiln at 111 because it wouldn't go any lower. It kept on going back and forth between 111 and 112. But there is now, as the sun's just beginning to go down out there, there's a wonderful desert light. Um, there is an actual breeze coming in the doorway now, and my vents are going like crazy, my uh, twirling vents. So this one is its second fire. And uh, I like, I like uh, definitely what was happening in there. I like that separation on that glaze that I got. Sort of got the effect of an oil spot glaze there, which is nice. Got some more of that oil spot effect right here. Here, I didn't intend that one. This one was intentional. But here's the planes I put in at the last, and they're just there a little bit. And I'll keep putting more planes in as I fire it again and again, because you know I will. Uh, but it's a, uh, I'm pretty happy with it at this point. The light's not too good in here. This one is a little, the blue's way too bright for me. Yeah, that's not going to work out. So sh that'll probably get toned down by some decals. Same with the hair. I can do better on that hair. Drop some decals into the hair. Um, the way it's coming out, the face on the phone is not nearly as nice as the way it looks uh, in real life. It's funny, sometimes you get it a little dark on the phone. And the birds need more work, but it's a good uh, second fire. I like the texture that happened here, like that. And I'll tone that texture down by putting another really, it's a, it's a, putting another thicker glass layer over it. And here's the decal I put in there. That decal's been fired twice now and you see how strong it still is. That's because it's vintage. Vintage decals, oh my gosh, they're so much better than the new ones. I don't know what they do differently, but it's, okay. Gotta unload these, bye-bye.